your AFW. Yeah, I've had those for literally like five years. 226. Can you give me the best point for you? Alright, Kenny, let him rip. You're good. Yep, you're good. Marking on bottom. Two twenty two. I know for many of you this could seem like just just a regular hookup, but this was actually the hookup. So I don't usually do over boys videos, but I wanted to take a chance today to explain what is really happening after I just hooked this absolute monster. So as you can see right now, I'm still fighting the fish. I'm trying to handle the fish really careful, trying to get it out of the off the bottom, and he just keeps swimming down. Um, at this point, I'm pushing the limits on my equipment. I'm using 20 pound line, 50 pound liter, um, and the power uh, live rod from Jig Pro, and I have to handle this fish extremely careful. Um, because you know, potentially I'm gonna break it off. There is a line tangle down there. I feel something weird. I, I still haven't moved the fish. Not yet. No. But I feel like a line. You can see here. I feel Ricky just caught big bonita, and at this point I'm I'm just looking around, trying to get somebody to emphasize with me and try like try to figure it out how I can get this fish out of the out of the bottom. So at this point, I'm officially rocked. These fish have taken me to the rocks. Um, and because we are on a trip with a bunch of friends, I, I was able to talk with everybody and ask them kindly if they wouldn't mind to move the boat around. Um, I'm communicating with Tony and I'm at this point, we are just uh, trying to get this fish off the rocks. So Tony has got the boat in gear. And as you can see right here, I'm thumbing with my thumb the line, trying to make that grouper uncomfortable. Uh, he was probably on a hole at this point. And, uh, and yeah, just trying to be patient. 
So with everybody, indicating Tony how I want to try to get this fish off the rocks. And it's funny because you guys can see the other the other people on the boat, and they're probably thinking, "Oh yeah, whatever. He's got a number jack or something like that." And we are like doing all of this here, but only me at this point. I know how big this fish fell and uh, and it's worth to give it a try. So slowly I'm getting that scope out, trying to get on top of the fish. And now we are probably like 20, 25 minutes into the fight and all of a sudden I got it off. Is he coming out? He's he's caught in the fucking net or something. Go, 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 go! Oh shit. I wouldn't back up. No, 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 pull that fish. Pull the fish. I would I wouldn't back up. Don't stop it. Don't let him get you back. Dude, he crushed it the other day. Don't pull I'm in intro. Yeah, I'm in neutral, just let you know. At this point, everybody knows I have a big fish on. Everybody's comfort. You can see everybody getting more and more excited about what's about to happen. We don't know what it is, but we know it's big. We know it took me to the rocks and it's off now. So I know now all that I'm thinking in this moment is I'm, I was using 50 pound liter. This fish was on the rocks for 20, 25 minutes. So my liter is frayed. I have to handle this fish extremely careful. You can see how steady I'm retrieving the line, keeping the tension on the line. I back, backed up my drag at this point. I'm just taking my sweet time I want to get to see this fish. You can see at this point we are all working as a team. Um, we have Tony on the wheel, Colton, team, Ricky. Everybody is getting ready to see this fish, communicating. This is a team effort. After almost 30 minutes, we see color, and now you guys enjoy the show. Looks good, looks good color. Yeah, yep, yep, right color. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my. God. Oh. Gagas. Gaggy, gaggy, gaggy. Gagasaurus. Look at the size of that fucking thing. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Ever in your life. Oh my God. Holy fuck! <laughs> Let me see the jig. Oh, my, oh god. god! Here! Oh my goodness! Fucking cross his face. Look! Oh. Deep in the right. I Look told you. Feel that? Feel your leader. I told you. Oh. Oh my goodness! Fifty pound leader. Oh. Rug me. Rug me. Bro. We're patient. I knew I had a good one. What a fish, George! Look at the size of that thing. Insane. Oh my god. Insane. It oh fucking insane. Let's go. Yes! Let's go, baby. Oh, oh my god. What a fish I of a lifetime right there.
Get out of there, George. She's the biggest gut group I've ever seen in my life. 240 strike, my favorite color, highlighter, knee hooks, power light rod. People say you can pull big fish with this thing. Clearly, clearly you can. And yeah, look at the size of this guy grouper. It's, it's as big as I am. And uh, yeah, it's just insane. This thing broke me. We got it out. Uh, the crew was patient. Tony got me out. And he was coming, man. He did come. So. Holy crap. I'm gonna keep on fishing. Put this thing in the cooler. <laughs> you. Doubled up here. Doubled up here. Okay, boy. Nah. Nah, he has to put his little sissy hands on. You want me to record this, George? Unity, yeah. unity. Let me unity, unity your, your reel. And we can just electric reel him. <laughs> just line the line connect it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> that's seriously, that's how I, I fish. It's how you should do it. Fuck yeah. Especially when it's when the groupers like this. Hey Tim, Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan, Tim. Well, Captain Morgan. Adam, then he's rough. He can pull the fish out for you. Tim, that thing's beating you. I know, but my elbows. No, I'm saying he's he just went down on you. My elbows done. Take your time, you got it. I Tim, see color, I see Tim, color. Tim, do this, sir. That's me. Tim, do this. Look, throw your knee up. Put the rod on your knee. Porgy! That's what I call. I don't want that. Oh, fight. Yeah. The tarpon? Yeah. No, I actually do see color. Oh, oh my goodness! Woo! Oh, Tim! Steady reel. Don't even pump the Steady reel. Oh, I think it's a jack. It's a jack. It's a big jack. It's a big jack. Dumb. Oh, Thing is huge. Yeah, it's a fucking. Oh, yeah. Keep rolling. <laughs> Big Amaco. Oh. Oh. Big Amaco. Woof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be ready. Oh wow, we got hey. a lead line right here. Is a rip? Could be longer. Cut him on, baby. Oh yeah, you got on a nice 240. one. 240. Fishing the 240 strike out here with a uh, big single up top, big single down below. Four off, single assist. You wanna throw, no, we don't need to sink care for these sharks. No, no. No sharks here? I don't, it doesn't matter, I don't want it on my line. <laughs> Let's take it easy. I'm in the fight. You get them off the ground, get them off the bottom. A lot of people want to horse them too much. You can lose the fish a lot of ways, but you're sitting here and you try to kind of baby them once they're up, it helps you out a lot more. Out here, the current's ripping. We're kind of fishing these jigs in free fall. I probably needed the 340, but I was fishing the 240, just trying to get a little bit more action. And I uh, started out slow, but finally just hooked a good fish. George got an absolute donkey of a gag earlier. Tim caught a big, nice scamp that swallowed the jig, pulled off a couple other, couple other fish, and uh, fingers crossed this one comes up. It's gonna float now. <sighs> you 
Beautiful day out there. Beautiful day out here. What is it? I don't know. He just woke up a little bit or something's on him. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. This is how Tony makes me feel. I got color. Color? Color. That's the right one. Good. That's the right one. That's the right one. Three hundred foot guys. Rail. This is one of the most exclusive rails in the world. So sort of like a hundred of them. Super small, super light. Tons of dark. Let's see. So far, one drop, one fish. I like this one. I feel we are. Looks like it's floating. There you go. Still fighting. Somebody's on? Right collar? Mm, no. Right collar. Jack. Yep, Jackie. Alright. Jackie Jack. later what an epic video what an epic adventure I was so lucky to land that fish and I, I want to take a second before I finish the video to emphasize for you guys to go back if you have a second and learn from that experience so before I was able to land that fish I lost many others and talking with very experienced guys I followed their guidance and obviously I was a little lucky as well uh, because sometimes you do all the things right, but it still doesn't happen the way that you want it to happen. That particular time with that grouper, everything turned out perfect. Even though I was using 20 pound braid, 50 pound liter, and that fish was almost 300 feet under me. You know, I got lucky, uh, thanks to the guys on the boat, thanks to Captain Tony as well, for being patient 
and you know now we can learn from that one and hopefully this helps you guys as well to learn and manage uh, some of those bigger fish that very often they broke us we have to be patient we have to believe and, uh, and eventually it'll happen all right let you guys go I get tons and tons of questions about what gear I'm using or what not so I'm gonna go really quick through the gear that I was using in this particular trip so for the rod I was using our newest uh, Revolution Pro Series I was actually losing the power using the power light so the power light handles jigs from 80 grams all the way to 240 grams I was actually fishing the high end of the rod I was using a 240 gram strike jig I actually because that is actually my PB grouper uh, my PB guy grouper and I'm gonna mount that fish I saved the jig this is the actual jig that I used that particular day with the same hooks and everything I even kept a piece of the leader because I wanna keep it as a little momentum and whenever I go back you know one or two or ten years from now I want to still have it there hopefully hanging from a mount of that beautiful gag grouper so yeah I was using a 240 grams pair up with a Revolution Pro Series power light and actually for the reel I was using an accurate Valiant 300 I like the two speed and then the line I was using a 20 pound Yasuri Super Bray and for my leader it was a 50 pound uh, Yosuri fluorocarbon as well pink and yeah for the people that had questions about the rods uh, were more skeptical about such tiny and light rods handling big fish there you go it is possible a hundred percent tiny rods just... actually will handle very big fish if you use them properly okay um, go back in that video see the fishing technique I wasn't hiding a stick in my rod I knew what I was dealing with and I was thinking about that during that whole fight and only then I was able to land that beautiful fish so thank you so much for watching one more time I don't know if you guys noticed or not but we are uploading a lot more regular now um, the idea or the intention is to upload it once a week so if, if you made it all the way back to the end of this video just hit that subscribe button right there and the notification bell so every time that we upload a new video you get a notification and you stay updated again we're gonna be talking about technique and specific things about slow pitching I highly recommend you join the channel now that we are starting and if you have any questions please drop a comment down here I'll be happy to ask. and again thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video from Jig Professional